Becoming an ultimate was the best. <sighs> and the worst decision I've ever made. I was shocked when I first heard the news about your son on TV. Congratulations, you must be so proud. Come now, what's there to be surprised about? He's my son, after all. I had no doubts he'd become an ultimate awardee one day. Oh, and he's not just any ultimate either. He's the best of the best. As far as I know, his talent has only ever been awarded once since the Oz Institute was first established. To be frank, I'm quite jealous. My daughter will turn 18 next year, and I'm expecting her to receive an ultimate award too, but... But not a talent as prestigious as my son's, you mean. Don't underestimate me, sister. I've raised my daughter well. Who knows? She may surpass your son. We'll see when the time comes. Honestly, I'm just relieved that all the money I spent on his tuition fees and extracurricular lessons paid off. He never slacks off, fortunately. If he did, I'd have thrown him out on the streets by now. <laughs> Any good child would do the same with a mother as hardworking and diligent as you. But of course. Though, recently, he's been a bit... Hmm. Never mind. He has another interview with EOS Institute today. Oh, how exciting. At this rate, however, he'll be running late. Ugh, that boy. Dear, come downstairs and greet your aunt, will you? What took you so long? You weren't playing that guitar again, were you? Hello, auntie. Uh, no, I wasn't. I was getting dressed for the interview. If you say so. Don't spend so much time on such a useless hobby. I don't want it to interfere with your grades and sabotage your future. <sighs> I had you attend all those music lessons to enrich your breadth of skills, not for you to waste your free time on it. Oh dear. It seems your son isn't as well behaved as you make him out to be. Fortunately, my daughter is far more obedient. But I fear that he's been a bad influence on her lately. I caught her spending time with a boy from some no-name family after school last week. I was forced to confiscate his guitar for a while because he wouldn't stop playing it. He kept begging for me to give it back to him, but he needed to learn that he has to work hard to earn these things. Once he got his ultimate award, though, I returned it to him. But I think I'm regretting that decision now, always wasting his time. If I were you, I wouldn't have returned it at all. <laughs> well, I suppose I've gotten too soft. Enough of that. I heard you're heading to yet another interview, correct? Oh, it must be so glamorous. Uh, yeah. But it's also a bit tiring to have such a packed schedule. Do you see what I mean? He's becoming more and more ungrateful these days. If I were in his shoes, I'd make the most of this opportunity. Being on TV, attending extravagant events, and meeting so many high-class figures. I mean, who would ever complain about that? Exactly. Having all of these connections and fame secures a stable future. Just work hard now, so you can relax when you're older. Right. Sorry. Ah, 
Ah, look at the time. Your interview is soon. Why are you still sitting here? Sorry. I'll head out now. <sighs> you need to learn some self-discipline. I shouldn't have to act like your secretary in order for you to get yourself together. <sighs> Whatever. Remember what I always say. Keep a smile on your face, nod and laugh when you need to, and never offend anyone. You must be perfect, all right? Don't disgrace our family. Understood. People keep playing up Ultimates as a big deal, but I don't see what's so great about it. It seems like a title that only people obsessed with status and renown care about. At the end of the day, I'm just an ordinary guy, walking through a crowd of ordinary people. And yet, Eos likes to treat it as something akin to a god. But that's stupid. You can't make gods out of humans. Only tyrants. Maybe it's not too late for me to. <sighs> so cloudy today. Hopefully I'll reach the place before it rains. I can't escape from this hellhole, so there's no use yearning for a life that will never be mine. Even if I did run, what would I do? I'd lose everything. My home, my future, my chance at any sort of livelihood. My parents are in complete control of my finances, and I only have a little bit of money saved up in a secret account. I prepared it for the worst case scenario, but it can't sustain me for too long. Will it ever get better? Well, 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 if it isn't Mr. Right on time! Let me show you the way to the set for the interview. Thank you. <laughs> you seem a bit tired. Didn't get enough sleep last night? I always stayed up late when I was your age, too. Once you get older, though, that doesn't matter. We all have to show up for work regardless. You'll get used to it eventually. <sighs> anyway, please, follow me. Ah, yes. Miss Arase won't be at the set during the interview, but she will be watching this broadcast live. You can tell she put in a lot of effort to promote you. It's not cheap to book a slot at this time. I'm very grateful for the opportunity. You're very... lucky, aren't you? <sighs> hmm... Not much of a talker, I see. Anyway, this is the set where the interview will be taking place. Please, have a seat here. We're still setting up all of the cameras, so we'll begin in a few minutes. Alright.
Excuse me. Hello? Mister! Huh? Oh, so you are awake. The interview will start now. We don't want you falling asleep in the middle of it. <sighs> right. Sorry. Good morning, sleepyhead. Sorry. You're younger than me. How can you be so exhausted already? I expected these ultimates to be more responsible, and not act like a toddler that missed his midday nap. <laughs> I've been busy lately, so... Welcome to the real world. Everyone's busy, but we still have to carry out our duties. Adulthood must be a real shock after you've been pampered your whole life. <sighs> You ultimates think you're so special just because you got lucky enough to catch Eos's eye. Or was it because you bought the title? I... I didn't. <laughs> it's just a joke. Don't look so serious. Can't you even take a light-hearted joke? All right, we've been waiting long enough. Are we live? Camera's rolling in five, four. And one. Today, we have the opportunity to catch an exclusive interview with the star of the upcoming Ultimate Award Ceremony, Mr. Oh, you're flattering me. I'm not the star of anything. There's no need to act humble. You're here today because EOS Institute sees immense potential in you. After all, you've received an award that has only ever been awarded once before. With such an outstanding talent, I'm sure your contributions will take our nations to even greater heights. Well, anything to say about this? Uh, hello? Don't disgrace our family. What's with him? He was fine earlier. We're already live. We can't have him blinking out. Don't disgrace our family. Don't you there? Disgrace our Don't family. disgrace our family. Don't disgrace. Don't disgrace our family. Don't disgrace our family. Don't disgrace. Don't disgrace. Don't disgrace. Don't disgrace. Don't disgrace. Don't disgrace our family. What a waste of time. <sighs> I 
Ah, I was worried you'd fallen asleep. <laughs> I suppose even perfect people can't always be perfect. Yeah, sorry about that. I just had an epiphany. An epiphany? About what? About the fact that you're all full of shit. Excuse me? What is he doing? What's wrong? Isn't this interview meant to capture my honest thoughts on becoming an ultimate? Well, my honest opinion is that it's all bullshit. Mister! He's making a scene! Shouldn't we cut the cameras? No, no. Keep it rolling. Miss Arase isn't going to be happy if we keep this up. <laughs> Who cares? This is gonna boost our ratings! That's right. Keep the cameras rolling. Why does it matter who gets hurt from this ordeal as long as it lines your pockets? Am I right? Y you little! Hey, I'm helping you out! Why get mad at me? Are you surprised that I'm not just sitting down and acting like your little trophy? Oh, if we get to make connections with the one and only- We'll make a fortune! Uh, <clears throat> Back to the topic at hand. I can't believe you're still trying your best to keep things on track. You must be desperate to get on that old hag's good side. Sure, let's get back on topic. Mister, please. You want to know what I think about becoming an ultimate? I think it's a load of crap. Why have an award system that creates a social divide between impressionable teenagers? To encourage us to work hard for a title that'll become meaningless in a couple of years? Why do we put all this pressure on kids to become so-called ultimates? Nothing that's to find someone's worth is fucking stupid. Ultimates aren't worth more than your average person. We're just... regular human beings. How dare you slander EOS's ultimate system live on TV as their most respected ultimate! Don't you think you're being hypocritical? You're still enjoying all the benefits from that title, and... Aww... Are you jealous? Must suck that a handsome young guy like me stole the spotlight from a nobody like you. Why, you? Well, that's what you think, right? Honestly, you claim the Ultimates are all just pampered little kids who got lucky. <laughs> you feel inferior to them. You're the one who's putting me on a pedestal here. That's why you feel so threatened by my existence. Uh, Miss Arase just called. She told us to stop the broadcast immediately. What? We, we can't stop it now. Oh, right. The old hag's still watching. Hey, Kumiko. I hope you're having as much fun as I am right now. Oh, don't get too upset. Or else you'll have to cover up even more wrinkles. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that you're a self-absorbed bitch. And I'm done being your cute little poster boy. I'm rejecting the ultimate award. So you can go organize your dumb event without me. What? Why would you? This is the first time that someone has... Don't be shocked. You should have seen this coming. I never wanted to be an ultimate in the first place. I can't stand EOS Institute and their elitist ideals. Why would I want to be associated with them? Besides, after this stunt, I'm getting kicked off their roster either way. I'm sure I'm no longer needed here, so... Bye-bye. Hey! Wait! Miss Arase's on her way, and she wants to speak with you. Tell her to kiss my ass. Hold on! <sighs> what the hell was I thinking? I'm doomed. How dare you disgrace our family? Don't expect us to let you into the house when you return. <laughs> Figures. Guess I'm never going home now. Not that it really matters. I just wish I could have taken my guitar before I left. Maybe I should thank this godforsaken institute for giving me the courage to break free from this hell. But... 
Sorry. You'll have to deal with our crazy family on your own for a little while. I'll come back to help you soon. Just give me some time to get settled. It seems the clouds cleared up. Even though the sun is setting now, it's still bright. I don't regret doing what I did. I don't regret being honest to the world. I couldn't become a perfect successor to Eos' greatest awardee. And that's alright. All that status and fame meant nothing to me. And I'm better off without it. I'm still the same person after all. Ultimate. Non-ultimate. There was never a difference in the first place. Although, today's events are definitely going to cause a stir, but not for long. In a month, every word I've spoken will be forgotten. Even the fact that I almost became an ultimate will slip everybody's minds, and life will go on as usual. Because, there was never anything special about being an ultimate in the first place. We're human, just like everyone else. Come on.